video, all you do is hit that button, and it goes to video, and you're on movie, and then you just hit this button. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kenya White. I'm a member of the staff here to introduce our speaker. I'm also an entrepreneur, like many of you here. Um, and I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce our speaker. His name is Chance Spiesbach. Uh, he will be giving us a presentation on how his years of experience in Hollywood will catapult you to success. Um, let me just give you a little bit of background on Chance. Uh, he's a former Wall Street and Hong Kong investment banker turned TV host. Chance has combined his global experiences in investment banking and media. He's interviewed A-list celebrities, politicians, and socialites. And he's formulated a digital way to strategically grow your business through a personalized interview to convey your competitive strength. So please help me to welcome Chance. Um, and I hope you enjoy the presentation. Wow, that sounded impressive. I um, don't know if any of that's true, but the way it worked out is simply this. How many people in this room are digital chameleons? Any idea what I'm talking about? I think we have an idea here. What, what am I talking about, my great intro friend? Um, I think it's you, you have this virtual presence, and you're sort of in and out of all sorts of websites and social media. You know, No one really knows who or what you are. That's it. But you manage to sort of n navigate the, the, web, the web world. That's exactly it. The no one knows who you are. That's the thing. In cyberspace, in the digital world, if you don't have something that pulls you out, when 80% of the people are getting everything they need from the web, if you don't stand out, you're dead. You're simply dead. When I first started doing investment banking, I would look at mutual funds that had $100 billion, $50 billion under management. And you know what? They're making 6 7% a year. And then you had a, a, an investment banking group that was you know, making 14 15% a year, and they had you know, $500 million under management. And I said, what's going on? What's going on is a great marketer will always destroy a great company. Anyone you give me that, that I can market, I will outmarket and beat their competition. I'm not going up against Walmart, but what I'm saying is if you're someone and you have all these great credentials, like I had this dentist, he's on my uh, testimonials, he has more letters after his name and he lectures at every school. He's the best. Word of mouth, his company's huge. Seven employees for one dentist. But you know what? I said to the guy, listen to me, give me a half hour, we'll make a video, and your business will grow exponentially. He's a friend, so he said, you're on. He had to hire two more in staff, because even though people saw him on the website with his little picture, you know what that is? That's a menu. I go to the restaurant, I see a menu, big deal. When I turn on my TV, and that two in the morning Pizza Hut for $7.99 with the three toppings, I want to eat the TV. You show me a picture of it, it interests me. You show me a picture of a naked girl, yes, I get excited. A dirty movie, I lose my mind. That's the exact same thing with every one of you. I don't care what your business is. If I click on 100 websites and they're all your competition, right now you could be ahead of the competition because you have that video. When that video comes on of who you are, your competitive strengths, your likability, and I'm there doing the interview, my job is to do it with the toughest A-list celebrities who are sick of their 400th interview about the movie they just released. Watch my reel. Everybody's laughing, smiling, and having a great time. I come in, I find everything out about you, we relax, we joke, and then it's just like a conversation in your living room. Except now, we have another person in the living room with us, and that's your potential client. And that client's in your living room, they're not in your competitor's living room. And when it goes to one person versus the other hundred who don't have it, you got them. If they were going to use any service that's similar to what you offer, you own them because they've probably got an earpiece, they're texting, their secretary's busy, they've got their kids on the phone, something's happening. They can't go and pay attention to all the stuff on your website. But if all of a sudden you come on and you start telling them, oh, wow, I started doing this. I was in the diamond business since my father you know, had his company, and it was just in my blood, and I love it so much. And when my customers come in, I want them happy. I want to please them, this and that. They're talking to you. They're addressing you. You're not researching them. You're not going after them. And it really comes back to, like I said in the little thing that uh, Alana asked me to write, because I really didn't know how to compile all this. We're primates. Survival came from being aware of what was moving in the bushes, or else we're lunch and we're dead. Or we have to be aware of what's in the bushes so we can go after it, so we can eat it and live. That comes from movement. Movement is what we're trained to, to observe. 
if you have a static page, you have nothing. If there's movement, our mind looks at it, our, external, our, eyes, our eyes see the external world and bring it to our brain. Words are dead. If you look at any of the magazines out there, most of the successful ones, 90% pictures. The rest, words. Why? New newspapers, death spiral, they're finished. Yeah, uh, Murdoch bought Wall Street Journal for a record price. Now that we know who he is, he bought it to control the news, not because it's a good investment. You want to have visuals, not words. Words have to be processed, interpreted. Your eyes don't read them, your brain does, but your eyes have to do this process. But when you're looking at a video, the video just jumps out, tells everyone, and it's passive. They're a spectator. They're, being obs they're observing who you are and getting to know who you are. And let me tell you something. If I want to go and do business with anyone, whether it be a personal trainer, a doctor, a lawyer, anyone, you want to meet them. And here, you're coming out and it's almost like a blind date versus everyone else who's writing a little personal ad. You get to see who they are. Back to the primitive thing, I mean, it's, it's very simple. Your eyes follow movement. And when movement comes out, you look. If you click through 100 websites, the one that all of a sudden has the person talking is the one who's going to get the customer. I started doing this, and one of my companies that I did it for was Blue Star Jets. $100 million a year. They don't need me. They're the best. Can they grow? Yeah. So I talked to Andrea Spring at that time, who was just a ran into her, you know, because Blue Star Jets, I am, I lucked out, I'm the red carpet host for Blue Star Jets to Polo Field all the next six uh, Saturdays. When I talked to Andreas, I said, um, you guys can be better. And she's like, well, you know, we have this, and we have SEO. And we, I said, save it. I said, you are a lovable person, because she really is. She's a, a wonderful, charming, warm person. And I said, and the people you deal with, yeah, they have money, power, and they want it done. But if they get the feeling that you're going to get it done, and they're going to call this person who is so happy to please and so easy to deal with, and it's not going to be an aggravation, your business is going to grow. I have a testimonial from Andrea Spring at Blue Star Jets saying that I helped them grow. How much? Immeasurable. But it happens on every level, whether you're a little jewelry business or a salon in Queens, which I'm going to next week, they're the oldest salon. You come in there and you let the world, the digital world, know who you are, be it through a loop in your store, on your website, your electronic press kit, and you all of a sudden become someone they know. And you're always going to deal with someone you know over someone you don't know. And when you sit down and you look at that video resume and you say, wow, I like this person already, you're not going to go elsewhere. They're the first ones you're going to go to. I started doing this um, just for friends because I watched what people on the red carpet really responded to. And I got to see who got the best interviews, who was most interesting. And when I said, how am I ever going to I mean, I was an investment banker till two years ago. And all of a sudden I said, that's it, I'm going to Hollywood. Right now, I am the celebrity society anchor for RTL the largest network in Europe, period, 200 markets. I never went to school for it, never anything. But I understood people, and I understood what they wanted to see. When uh, a dear friend of mine, Doug, he was there for this. Uh, he's my partner in a lot of the shows. Doug, without you, never would happen. We're sitting there, and Carolina Krakova, the girl who wore the $29 million diamond bra, is coming down the red carpet. Everyone's talking to her about modeling this and that. She comes up to me, I said, what'd you do for Tobin's birthday? five days before her, her one-year-old had his birthday. She went from model, who's aggravated, tired, bored, to, oh my God, I'll tell you what I did. I put on this black cat suit, and I put little whiskers on me, and I put whiskers on him, and I did this and that, whatever, and I turned her into a mom. Not the model, not the superstar. The interview was spectacular. Not because I'm so great, but I just took it out of what everyone's used to. And then when I had uh, Julie Bowen, my first interview, uh, before Doug, pre-Doug, we had a $120 demo camera from Staples. It didn't even accept the microphone into it. My camera girl is holding the microphone cord as if I'm interviewing with a microphone, because we've got no money. But when Julie Bowen was coming down, and it's Chance TV, Access Hollywood, Inside Edition, E, the big boys, I had studied her so well that I knew she had six pounds of body fat that she claimed from the twins that wouldn't go away after two years. As she's walking towards me, still far away, I said, what, what, six pounds, I don't even see her. Are you kidding me? I mean, what, do you have a carnival mirror at home? I'm like, God, do you see how good she looks? She's beautiful. Her publicist first kind of pulled her, like, okay, mental case at the end. But she, of course, walked past all the networks that matter, 
to talk to me about the thing that was important to her, those six pounds. And she's like, no, you don't understand no matter what I do. I'm doing these and the this and the that, whatever. I said, and I said to the camera girl, I said, please get a head to toe on Miss Bowen because clearly she's delusional. And we started talking about that. By the time we finished that interview, she, I said, first of all, the twins, um, did they magically appear? Or what? I made sure she wasn't divorced because you don't want to say, I said, did they magically appear? Or was there maybe a man in your life? She said, oh, my husband. I said, maybe you could thank him and say, hey, honey, I thank you for this. I love my life. I love my kids. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Honey, listen. Oh, my God, I love you. You're the best. Honey, take out the garbage. Don't forget to take out the garbage. I said, Miss Bowen, this ain't live. She goes, well, by the time he sees it, he damn well have taken out that garbage. So the thing is, by bringing out who that person is, if you have a new movie coming out, I'm not asking about it. If you're into basketball, yes, I'll challenge you to basketball. I'll say you're not that good at it. And I'll be like, I'm better than you. And we'll play around. When you do that with your company and who you are, you set yourself apart. You now have a video. You, I mean, I do it for lamp stores. I do it for anything. Because if I make you be yourself, and believe me, don't, don't think you can't do it. There's no one who can't do it. I had one woman who I won't say who because she's one of my testimonials. She was so scared, she, she said she wasn't showing up. She goes, I'll pay you, I'm not coming. I said, well, then let's have a rehearsal. You don't have to pay me. Just, just come in, we'll do a full rehearsal. I sat her down. I said, look, you know how there's a, black, a red light on the camera when it's on? There's no light. I got black tape over the light. Mm -hmm. You think I'm stupid? I, I, I do the games. And I showed her the thing, and I turned it around, and the camera was off. I said, look, camera's completely off. There's no screen. I showed her the LCD, turned it around. My camera's got a remote, and the remote's in my pocket. So I said, listen, tell me about what you do. I love to hear about it. I want to know. I want to learn. This lady wouldn't stop talking. Editing this, it took like four days, but it was gold. It was who she was, what she can do, how she feels about this and that. As soon as we finished, I go, knocked it out of the park. You're awesome. She said, yeah, but uh, I, just, I, I don't think I can really do it. I go, you don't have to worry. And I pulled the tape off. I go, you just did it. So between the tricks, the making people feel comfortable, and literally, with times, I will turn the camera off. Or I'll start taking the camera apart, and I'll say, this is a piece of plastic. It's not, it doesn't exist. I said, let's have fun. And I'll say, you know, OK, we're on a roller coaster. I'm not kidding. I'll say, let's do this. One way I do it, like some of the older ladies, I'll say, listen, when the blood is in your hands, the veins are really bad. So you want to go like this. I don't know. No, it's the opposite. Whatever. I have them go like this. Don't even worry about it. My phone's probably going to ring, too. I go, go like this. So then they're shaking their hands. And I said, look, before I do interviews, a lot of times I throw up or I cry, I get nervous. But it's just that Laurence Olivier before the major performance. So I make them start thinking, wait, this guy's crazy. He's talking about throwing up and crying. And instantly they're like not worried about their own nervousness. And I said, listen, I'm starting to freak out. And I have asthma. I didn't bring my turbo inhaler. Why don't we, can we just practice this? Can we just, just for me? Because I got to get my mind off this. And then all of a sudden, they're saving me by doing the interview. It doesn't matter who you are, what you're talking about, what your company is. You don't have to do anything with me. If you don't, no problem. But do it with somebody. Because right now, you have the ability to have the advantage over everybody else by having that video interview. Soon, it's a level playing field. And you won't have that advantage. Because I can't tell you the amount of people that are calling for this. And it doesn't matter who. I've got more real estate people that now they're competitive because so many from Halstead want to do it that they're, they're fighting each other and screaming and going, well, I'll pay you extra not to do her video. And I found out about this. I'm like, oh, mental patience. I, I, I'm not getting involved in that. You know, if you come to me, we'll do it. But it's soon going to be something where everybody's got it. And yes, word of mouth is great. But if you just look at the, like I said before, newspapers, death spiral, magazines are all pictures. And it's really to grab your eye. And then once they grab your eye, they grab your attention. Once they have your attention, then you let them know who you are. And you're pretty much set. Um, as far as success, I think we talked about it. Pretty much what I'm saying is this could go on forever, but it's actually not something that's that interesting. It's just more the idea to convey of if you were really looking at a website and it had somebody talking to you and you related to them, you wouldn't look elsewhere. But if you're cruising around saying, I need a personal trainer, or I want to go to this hair salon, or I want to do this stuff, I'm going to the oldest hair salon in Queens next week, one of the people, 110 years, the lady's going to cut hair blindfolded for me, all this stuff, Khloe Kardashian's coming. I thought they wanted to cut my hair blindfolded. I'm like, hey, no. That, that's, uh, they're like, oh, yeah, we're cutting hair blindfolded. I go, let's clarify that one. Who's, who's head? And she's like, oh, don't worry. No, it's not yours. I'm like, that's right. I got enough problems as it is. I'm not letting some lady blindfold it. So, we're going to do that, but it's that kind of thing. And actually, it's going to be on New York One. So they're going to do the interview, and then they said to me, can we have permission to air it on New York One? I said, of course. But 
it doesn't matter what business, it doesn't matter who you are, this is the whole thing. Because even when I go looking on the internet and I see something and it's got that person talking to me, I watch it. And sometimes I watch them when it's not even something I'm interested in. I mean, I watched something, it was this lady who came on, I don't know, Google, I typed in the wrong thing, and it was this lady talking about knitting. This lady was so into knitting and so passionate about it that all of a sudden I'm sitting there watching this knitting thing, and my sister walks into the office, she goes, I knew it, a matter of time before you cracked out. I'm like, shh, this, this is serious. So if it's done right, it'll pull you right in. It's really like a Will Smith trailer or one of those you know, action movies that are coming. They hit you with like, I mean, sure, it's 30 seconds because it's TV, but if you make a, a premiere kind of like, if you make a trailer for who you are and it's done right, it's going to drive people crazy. They're going to come into you, and trust me, even if you don't get every one of them, you're going to get the ones that would have gone somewhere else. And uh, I really don't have any more, I don't want to ramble on forever. I think I kind of said what I have to say, but... Um, anyway, I do it for $300, which is nothing. Call around, it's $1,000 to $2,000. Uh, the reason I can do it is because my boy here with the camera, who's my partner, we do stuff for the biggest networks. We knock out $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 jobs jobs left and right. We have two networks that we work for. We have no fixed costs. We've got the cameras, the studio, the equipment, and sometimes I have a lot of free time, so I like doing this. He's a madman when he edits. He's like uh, friggin' Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. We're up till four in the morning. We're doing stuff for fitness videos, for uh, you know every kind of photo shoot. So we love what we do. And uh, until our time is no longer available, we're gonna do this for anyone who sees the value in it. And um, without pressure, guys, I'm gonna be at the table. Come talk to me, ask a million questions. I'm not a hard sell because um, you know what I have. So I think that's pretty much it. And uh, I hate people who talk too long. So if, if we're early, let's just wrap. We're done? All right, thank you. Somebody had a good time. All right, guys, thank you so much. Well, let me, um, let me say, and I think I speak for everyone, thank you to Chance for that wonderful presentation on uh, visuals, which is extremely important for all of us who are entrepreneurs. If you're not doing this, you need to do this. This is the first time I've met Chance, and he's moved me. Like, I'm booking you. Do you understand? I'm booking you, like, immediately. First time's free, baby. Oh, all right. I'm in. We'll I'm easy. I'm out. in. We'll work something um, out. So thank you, Chance, for talking about the visuals, talking about the video resume, talking about the electronic press kit. These are pieces of material that should be a part of every entrepreneur's package. It should be something that you're talking about. When you're talking about yourself, you need to be talking about these things. And I can say this because I have two businesses, so I know how important this is. Um, just, just real quickly, you made me think of something. When you reply to someone with an email, like with me, it comes to go to see this, go to my Facebook, go to my fan page, go to all this stuff, and it's all these things. And people, when they see that, they go, mm, what is that? And if all of a sudden you have a response in your email, and every email has your electronic press kit, people are going to hit it because mm -hmm. there's no pressure at all. You're not there. It's 2 in the morning. They're like, oh, let's see what Dr. Bob does. And they click, and they watch it. And now all of a sudden, before they go to bed, they're thinking about how good you are at what you did. Right. So that really, right. Right. I've gotten I mean, that from it's, people. It's, it's major. To be a part of your signature, yeah. it would be a wonderful thing. Every single email you respond to will have who you are in a video for two and a half to three minutes. That is where you generate the most customers. And again, I've never met him before. I don't work for him, but I am moved by his message, which is very, very important to catapulting your business and to making sure you are a success in whatever you do. Um, be sure to stop at his table if you have questions. I'm sure you do. And don't be discouraged by the table because he is the package and the gift. So ignore the table. He's the one you need to talk to. So I want to thank all of you for attending this presentation um, and just head right out to his table. He's available as soon as possible. And we're going to get the room ready for the next presentation at 530. Guys, really, thank you so much for listening. I really, I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Thank you. Thank you.